This conference will now be recorded. All right, so happy Friday, everyone. Today is Friday, September 20th. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. Um, so it pretty much looks like we're just going to trade Roku every single day from now on. And not for nothing, but with an average range of 622 and higher volume, there's really no reason in the world not to. But overall, it's one of the only things that we really do have going on this morning. So we can see beautiful selling that came in around 809 this morning at that 126 level, which we are pulling up from right this second. Um, so we just came right up to that print line. That's really where we would have started anyway. So 127.72 coming back up to there, kind of looking for that trigger back down. But overall, considering the fact that it happened so early, um, I do actually expect it to pull up a bunch more than that print line. So I'm going to be looking somewhere around that 130 area, um, especially if we continue to see these riders start coming in on that S side of things. So um, overall, once the market opens, I'm sure we're going to get an even better show of hand. But as of right this second, I mean, we don't need much more. There's definitely a lot of room to to uh, for this thing to move based off of what we have going on from that show of hand at 809. And other than that, the only thing I pretty much have is uh, is MDR. So MDR right now is we can see a little bit of covering coming in at 250. And I thought it was a little bit mixed, but we've seen just such a huge amount of selling coming into this thing. And apparently from the three level down, there's been nothing but selling. So we got this little bit of a move to come up to that upside. But overall, I don't think that this thing really stands much of a chance. So we can continue to see that selling that's still coming in. And, uh, you know, once again, it's shortable, too. So. So uh, definitely going to be keeping our eye on that as well, especially if we come back down here and break past that 150 level. I just I don't see it having much more of a chance if we break towards this uh, this bearish pattern that we have going on there. So other than that, uh, not really much else that's going on out there. Let's take a look to see if anything else has jumped in. So it looks like we're getting a little bit of volume in TRNX, some nice buying that came in underneath that 250 level. So this is definitely going to go on our list. Um, only problem that I have here is that it was just so sporadic up until that nine level, uh, excuse me, that, that nine o'clock point. So coming up, I really am going to hope that that volume stays a little bit more consistent, but uh, that's just pretty much a uh, basically a reach. Although, like I said, you know that is kind of a ballsy position coming in underneath that 250. So, other than that, it, we're going to have a lot of scanning to do once the you know we get closer towards that open. But at the end of the day, guys, it only takes one, and Roku has been our one. All right. So, other than that, guys, I will be in the chat all day today. So, I will talk to everyone in there, and happy trading.